and welcome to the Draeger how-to video series. I'm Craig Nielsen. I've been in the fire service for 30 years. I've been training with Draeger Sweet Survival for more than 10 years. Throughout those 10 years, I've witnessed a variety of ways to utilize a Class A system. Some of the methods created unnecessary risk and actually shortened the life of the system. Today, I'd like to share some tips with you on how to load the box and to build a crib fire so you can best utilize your Phase 2 rollover simulator for fire attack and hydraulic ventilation. We're going to start building the crib. You can see that we have our two pallet segments here. We're going to interlace them together. These are our hardwood pallets. Remember, we're going to use that mix of hardwood and softwood. We're going to start off with interlacing them inside of our barrel, and then we're going to go ahead and mix some softwood in here also. Fill this barrel with as much segmented pallet material as you can. Now we're going to start interlocking smaller pieces of wood, and you just kind of fit them in anywhere they will go. The next procedure to this crib is we're going to use single sheets of newsprint. Wad them up and we're going to start placing them in every single void that we possibly can. We're going to take some wire, whether it's bailing wire or whatever wire that you have handy, but we're going to wrap this material and that's to contain it all within this barrel. Remember, if you don't have a crib, your burn's pretty much done. So if your material falls forward out of the barrel, your burn's over. This is what it should look like. It should look like it's exploding with paper. We want enough paper in here to generate enough heat to get that wood burning. When we place this crib in the container itself, we want to alternate from side to side. So if we're going to do consecutive burns, you just want to make sure that we alternate it from one side to the other so that we don't degrade the connection between the doors. Another important fact is when we place this crib, we want to make sure the opening is facing the students so that we can access this with a hose line if we need to. The key to loading your box is consistency. As consistent as you try to make it, every burn will still be a little bit different. To load and prepare your phase two system, it's identical to your phase one flashover simulator. In other words, you're gonna use six full sheets and six half sheets. We have our crib in place. We like to have that opening toward our students and the instructor. So we have a good access to the crib. We want it tucked up into the corner. We want the energy to spread up the walls, into the ceiling, and across the ceiling. We have a full sheet on this side, a full sheet on the other side, a half sheet here, and a half sheet on the other side. And these half sheets act as like sacrificial material. They help protect the container and also provide more off-gassing. On the back wall, we have four half sheets. We like to overlap so that we have the gap away from the energy of the crib, because we don't want the energy to go back behind our boards, creating a space in there that we can't access with a hose line. And that goes for the ceiling as well. We have four full sheets, two on one side and two on the other. We like to stack them two by two rather than interlace because it creates more of a gap in between each board. We want to prevent those gaps from occurring. We use some blocking material to force that material up against the ceiling level. We don't want flames getting up onto the upper level and we wouldn't be able to access that with a hose line. We want to make sure we have our factory ends into the corners, make a nice tight seal. We want our cut ends leading outward, like here in the middle and also on the sides. So we want a nice tight factory edge. It'll prevent the fire or any energy getting behind those boards and we wouldn't be able to access that with a hose line. Thanks for watching this Draeger Sweet Survival how-to video series. I hope these tips will help you get the most value out of your live fire training system. For more information about the Draeger Sweet Survival systems, go to draeger.com. Train safe and have a great day.